After a harvest, we store some food in our household freezer. The rest can be stored in Tuktoyaktuk's community ice house. The ice house is built deep within the permanently frozen ground. This summer, my dad showed me and my daughters our family's food storage room. The shed-like entrance is deceiving. It leads to 19 underground rooms, one for each family that uses it. We first had to climb 10 meters down a slippery wooden ladder into the darkness. After reaching the bottom, we followed one of the three corridors leading to different rooms. Moisture from the warm surface air sinks, condenses, and forms ice crystals on the walls and ceiling. As we walked along, we saw different layers of rock, dirt, sand, and ice. This was my daughter's first time in the ice house. They found it a little scary. Our storage room is about three meters long, two meters wide, and about a meter and a half high. We keep fish, geese, and pails of muktuk in here. Using the ice house reduces our electricity bill and greenhouse gas emissions.